Mother's Day is here again, a time to celebrate and encourage women all over the world. Most women today are overwhelmed with different aspects of life to the extent that they fear to fail. What they however forget is that failure is part of winning. Proverbs 24 16 says, For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. In this exciting message series by Kakrabade entitled, Let's Do It Again, every woman will be empowered to pick up the pieces and start all over again. Grab a copy for that special woman in your life today. You can order this message series through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Let's Do It Again at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is a senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra has been sharing an exciting series titled Vision under the subtitle The Burning Vision. Today, he shares the first requirement for a burning vision. Let's join in. Most of the time, we have visions. Something we have seen we want to do, but it's all in, all in our head. We are never able to manifest it. Today I want to talk about how we can actually make the vision come to pass. What I call the burning vision. The burning vision is the things that you do for the vision to come to pass. Number one, you have to be able to identify between vision and ambition. There are two different things altogether. In business school, we are taught about ambitions. In the church, we speak about vision. And when we say vision, like you read in any economic management book, you read any business book, class, whatever, MBA, they talk about vision, the vision of the company, the strategy. That word vision is different from the one in the Bible. Let me tell you the difference. When we say vision, it is a plan that has a source in God. Ambition has a source in the flesh. That's the difference. I'll give an example. In Genesis chapter 11 verse 4, some people said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, which two stop may reach unto heaven. Let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth. Is there something wrong in building a skyscraper? No. But the source of this plan was not God. It was man. That's ambition. Vision, a source, is God. Maybe you were reading the scripture, and as you were reading the scripture, suddenly you had a revelation. To do something, you are having visions. Maybe it was a dream that you had. Maybe it was a burden on your heart. You are receiving visions. That is why the Bible says, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. It says, visions, they are poured out of the spirit of God. Does it mean a man shouldn't plan? No. It means a man can plan, but he must plan with the will of God and the direction of the Holy Spirit. That's what it means. You know, yesterday I was talking to somebody and I said something. I said, a plan in itself may be good. It may work. But you must remember that every plan is connected to something else. So independently, it's a good plan. But maybe it's not good for your health. Speaking to a businessman yesterday, he said to me, we imported a lot of equipment. Millions. We're going to do some business. Then it was cancelled. He said, when it was cancelled, he said, I could take it. But my business partner couldn't take it. 
He said his pressure went up. He suffered a stroke. Then I said to him, that is why it is not every business plan that may be a good plan. It may be good for your pocket, but it's not good for your health. Personally, I move by visions. Why? Because anytime God gives you a vision, that vision has the grace of God attached to it. God will protect it. Father, I pray for everyone here. Grant us divine direction and grant us visions in Jesus' name. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that to actualize your vision, it must be a vision and not an ambition. The source of a vision is God, while ambition is birth in the flesh. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Wife healed of ovarian cyst. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you concerning my wife suffering from ovarian cyst. You replied that you had prayed for her. Glory be to God, the last scan results showed that there was no cyst. She has been completely healed. Glory be to God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.